Welcome to Steve McDonald's Art and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be casting this in this mould to make a paperweight with this 3D resin image uh, that I created a few weeks ago. Now if you want to see how I make these um, then please uh, take a look at the video above and that will take you to the link of where I make these. And literally all I'm going to be doing is popping that in there like so pouring some um, casting resin. I shall definitely be using casting resin for this because I don't want to pour in more than one go. And this is too deep, I think, for using a, pour, a pouring resin. So it will definitely be a casting resin. And um, cast it and uh, see how it comes out. My casting resin. And the reason I'm using casting resin is because it stays workable for a lot longer. This, will, this casting resin will stay workable for about 10 hours. Um, it will take about 48 hours to cure, so it, you'd lose the speed of curing time. But I can pour all in one go, so that helps it speed up. And also, I find that using a casting resin, you are less likely to have lots of um, bubbles stuck in it because there's much more time for them to be able to rise to the top and for you to get rid of them. Now, I don't want this to just be 100% clear. I want this to have a slight colour to it, but still be still quite translucent so what I'm going to be using is some sapphire blue alcohol ink and I'm just going to pop in here five or six drops and I'm going to give that a mix around to see how I like it and if it's dark enough which I don't believe it is so I'm going to put a bit more in now ideally I'd have a pressure pot and I would be able to put this into a pressure pot, but I don't have one at the moment. I am thinking about getting one um, and using that, but currently I don't have one, so um, I have to rely on my mixing and everything else for getting my, um, bub my resin as bubble-free as possible. So it is actually taking a lot more of this than I, I anticipated. Uh, oh, there we go. So I'm at the colour now that I want to be at. There we go. So to enable me to, again, avoid too many bubbles, and there are still quite a few bubbles little tiny micro bubbles in this then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into the mold first like so okay then I'm going to put my um, embellishment in so that allows that and then I can move that around a little bit as well uh, which will help it release any trap bubbles underneath. Okay. So let's see if there is any trap bubbles underneath it. There are still a few. There we go. So I'm going to make sure that that's in there deep enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to top that up right to the top of this. So now that's topped up, 
as uh, far as I need it to be topped up there and um, so what I'm going to do now is I will leave that but I will keep coming back and babysitting it every couple of hours to get rid of any of these bubbles that are on the top now I won't be I'll be using my torch and probably my heat gun but I will be very very careful because what I don't want to do is I don't want to spoil this mold by using a torch and I tend to do that if I use a torch and we'll come back to this when it's cured. Okay, so this has now been curing for about 70 hours and I used a slow cure resin on this, a slow cure casting resin on this because I wanted to see if I could get uh, a really good clear cast with as few bubbles as possible uh, as I don't have a pressure pot. So it's now time to demold this. Well, it is coming away from the mould, but it might be... Oh, it's because I've poured over the top of the mould, as always. Okay, so... It would be easier if I was using some um, washing up liquid or some um, baby oil, but I haven't. So there we go. That's come out quite nicely. Obviously, I will need to either fill this top in here where it's shrunk away with a little bit more resin which i can do or i uh, can sand it down which i might do as well so let's give this just a quick buff up with a cloth because it's got my greasy fingerprints all over it at the moment so let's just give this a quick buff up with a cloth and we can have a look and see how well it has come out. Now, there must be a mark or something in my mould because there's something there that I don't really want on that side. So I will let this cure now for probably another week or so and I will actually sand down or polish these sides. But actually, overall... I'm really pleased with how clear that's come out. Um, there, are, there are hardly any bubbles in it. It has come out quite bubble free, as you can see here. Uh, I do think I might have to get rid of that mould and, and either get a new mould or make a new mould. Um, and it's cast that 3D um, resin shape in there that I made really, really well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this out and then I will put that on the uh, end of the video so you can actually see what it looks like when it's uh, completely uh, sanded. Now, I won't show the sanding because I've already done a video on how to sand to a gloss shine. If you tap the video above, you'll see how to do that. And it is fairly simple, um, but I am going to sand this off because I don't want to waste it because I really like it. So this is cured now and I've polished it up. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. It's looking very, very nice. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of glare on that there. Let's see if we can get up. So the leaf is in there with the butterfly and the flower. And considering I don't have a pressure pot, there are some micro bubbles in it. Um, but I have to say, there isn't many micro bubbles in it. Um, so I'm really pleased with how that's come out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, leave any comments and share this video wherever you can. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.